What's up guys, it's Ezra Mac and welcome back to part 10 of Let's Play Starfield. When we last left off, we took our brand new ship, the Razor Leaf, out for a little spin. We came back here to Mars. We helped put um, a tracking beacon up on the highest point of Mars to catch uh, not one, but two wanted criminals. We got introduced to the bounty system and uh, we've now been sent on a mission from a miner to go and apply for a job up on um, one of Mars's moons of Deimos. I hope you're enjoying everything so far. If you are and you enjoy this video, it does mean the world to me when you smash a like on it, subscribe to the channel, make sure we stick around for more Starfield. I have another nice hot cup of tea. I hope you've got a nice beverage to enjoy as well. Let's crack on and enjoy the episode and not hit my microphone anymore. Mmm. Beautiful. So, um, up to Deimos we go. Um, we, know, we don't actually have to get on the ship. Um, star map. So this is here, Mars, and then we have Phobos. And Deimos, great. Oh, no, I didn't mean to go up that far. Oh, there we go. Star Station. Apply for the assistant. Apply for the assistant to the director job. Well, let's do that. And there's Deimos. So, set course. And travel. Exquisite. I thought that had frozen, man. That little load sign there, but it had not, which is good. Deimos, Moon of Mars. Well, while we're here... Let's scan it. Survey. So, if it's an ask, can you land on asteroids, I wonder? Surely. Surely. And what does it look like? Well, where is it? Oh, it's there. <laughs> it's so tiny, we can't even see it. Um, so, here we go. Deimos Star Yard. And then let's get a little bit closer. I can get behind these thrusters, okay. I like it. Great. Uh, you know, let's put more, some more power to the engines. Get a little bit more speed. And then we should be able to dock very soon. There we go. I like how you kind of get a little layout when you're doing the docking sequence. It's not like it just shows you the actual airlock. Um, great, board. So we need to find a shop, and we need to... Oh, hello, Vasco again. Uh, I like that Vasco hangs hello, around outside. Captain. Hello! When oh, I've got the hiccups. The Welcome to Demos. The was Customers, the well... Where do we buy? Demos builds some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. Okay. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. Well, that's valuable information to know. Sandra Fullerton. Hello. Ah, it's nice to see someone not in uniform. <laughs> it can be so touchy, you know. Tell me about it. Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are um, you? I am the UC colony. I am the Grand Generalissimo of the Settled Systems. <laughs> ah, should I bow or curtsy then? I beg for forgiveness. <laughs> I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. I I'm here for a job, Mr. darling. Mr. Henderson handles sales. But if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. Okay. Don't take this the wrong way, but you're a lot more energetic than the others around here. Oh, yeah? Well, I take that as a compliment. It was? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. I can imagine so. Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say things like that. At least not so loudly. <laughs> I've already been written up twice this week. I can only take so many lectures. <sighs> Man, I could really use a drink. Hmm. I imagine that Deimos doesn't have the best booze. Well, we don't have much of it at all. We have to keep up appearances. I suppose it is a military what style. What I can really use is Jake Stout. From Jake's bar in New Atlantis, of course. Or the well, to be more specific. Okay. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. I mean, Jake isn't friendly, but he can make a pretty good drink. <laughs> Say, you're the traveling type, right? Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's stouts? Oh, I'm sure I could do it for you. I'll go get one for you. It's no trouble. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you so much. I eagerly await your return. Man's acting like it's just a hop down the road, yet we're traveling light years. Oh, oh. yeah. Bye. Yeah, see you, Chief. Uh, we'll, we'll find out more about the ships if we ever need to buy one, but for now, I think our razor leaf will do us just fine. This is the heart 
of the UC. Demos. Demos sales computer. Delivery opportunities. Building top-notch military vessels requires an abundance of valuable resources scattered around besettled systems. Deimos is searching for motivated entrepreneurs to provide us with the goods we need to get the job done. Do you have what it takes to work with Deimos and make a fortune at the same time? Contact our sales associate, Sandra Fullerton, for further details. I've just spoken to her. A delivery resource listing. Deimos heavily utilizes the following resources. Aluminum. Aluminium. I hate it when we spell it aluminum. It's aluminium. Argon, chlorine, copper, iron, lead, nickel, uranium. Please speak to our local sales associate to discover which resource is in demand and secure a contract. Job posting executive assistant. Hey, hey, everyone, hang on. This shirt doesn't have a top button. But we'll do our second top button up. I'm ready for the job interview. <laughs> that was cringe. Get that button under. That's brave. Let's apply. Seeking a highly motivated individual to assist the executive in charge of mining operations in day-to-day -day responsibilities. Prior executive assistance experience preferred but not necessary. Must be willing to relocate to Cydonia. Internship is unpaid with the option for permanent role at the end of contract. Duties and responsibilities. Providing administrative assistance, which may include drafting and editing communications on the executive's behalf and keeping memos. Managing the executive's daily calendar. Organising meetings and appointments. Performing minor accounting. Required skills and qualifications. Strong interpersonal skills. Written and verbal communication skills. Time management and organisational skills. Ability to proactively solve problems and make decisions in the interest of the executive. Ability to multitask. Apply for job. How many years of experience do you, ha do you have as an executive, administrative, or other corporate assistant? Over 10 years. What is the highest level of education you have completed? A PhD. You will now be asked a series of questions to help us assess your competence for this role. Please answer honestly to the best of your ability. The executive wants you to bring them a whiskey neat. What does that mean? Well, I, I know what a whiskey neat is. Um, I'm a barman. But... Is it a trick question? Executives aren't allowed to drink on my job. Now we need to think. Is the executive looking through these applications for what's best for him? Or is the company? Because if it's the company, it's a trick question. Executives aren't allowed to drink on my job. But if it's him, it's about 43 mil shot of whiskey served in a glass at room temperature. A VIP arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive, who is inexplicably running late. What should you do? Hmm. Offer drinks, apologise, assure that the exec will return soon. A malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up. We may need to go to an important off-world meeting soon. What course of action do you take? Hmm. Use the company credits to immediately charter an expensive luxury craft. We ain't getting this job, I feel it already. Uh, while handling the executive's email, you come across a message from someone claiming to have damaging information about the executive. What should you do? Ask the executive how they want it handled, then never speak of it again. The executive contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they are drunk, what do you do? Hmm. Heh. <laughs> uh <laughs> Immediately go to their office and take care of them until they sober up. All answers are final. Submit. Then we need to speak back to Trevor. Great, because he said no, no matter what. Responsible for countless victories. Self-service bounty clearance. The Trackers Alliance self-service bounty clearance kiosk. If you have bounty with anyone in the settled systems, don't worry. For a small convenience fee, we can clear that up for you. Well, we're not wanted. Great. Mission board. Oh. Are these just... Oh. Trackers Alliance twice. Trade Authority. League of Independent Settlers. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Phantom. A known pirate ship. Yes. Kill the pirate rover. Yes. Deliver smart sensors to Porima 3. 
Yes. Supply Argon to Mars. Uh, to complete a supply mission, you'll need an outpost with a cargo link you can use to send the specified resource. All right. Survey Eridani 4 in Eridani. All right. Six. So we're just getting loads of side quests now. Awesome. Um, is there a shop? Vending machine? Yes. Oak clusters. Sick. Well, let's see what else awaits us down here. Nikau Henderson. What do we have here? A civilian in my star yard. Hello. Daimler's prides itself on being the UC's first and last line of defense in space. But we're more than happy to protect and arm bold entrepreneurs that do their business among the stars. Nice. I'm glad you have time for us civvies, then. Anyone that flies in space earns my respect. Good man. Heck, an independent may be even braver. You don't have a fleet at your back when the Crimson Fleet comes calling. Yeah, that's true. So, let's see about getting you a proper ship. One worthy of you. This guy, I remember his accent and that line. I swear in the trailer he had tattoos on his face. Uh, let's see your ships. Excellent. Long, you see long, or oh, where? They have a UC long swords. Are they like battleships? How much did this cost? 86 grand. What? What? That's cute. Aegis. What? Oh, this just looks like a battleship straight from like Halo. Awesome. Um. Sell. Oh my god, you could imagine that. Yeah, I know, Constellation, you let me borrow your ship, but I've just sold it. <laughs> when you get serious about your spacecraft, yeah, I will do. To Deimos. Cheers. Da no, do you I have an actual shop? Handle to a Deimos. It's not even close. This must be his office. Can we press the big red button? <laughs> um, right, so no actual shop, it appears, on Deimos. That's fine. A little bit upsetting. Uh, we needed to speak to this lady again, didn't we? I hope your demo ship has been serving you well. Any questions? Yes. Me. I mean, I I read there's delivery jobs you offer. If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. Good. The Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority, twice the market rate. <laughs> Okay, tell me what you're looking for. As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every star yard offers the same terms. Okay. But obviously, you should deal with us. Okay. Depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. That sounds so good. what we need is... Argon. We need a medium shipment. 2,000 units of it. What? <laughs> I'll get you what you need. Excellent. This invoice has the details. That's a lot of argon. If you ever need more information, just let me know. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do, love. Um, for now, though, that's a lot of argon. Uh, razor leaf board, please. All right. Let's get this crate into space. Agreed. Where are we um, going? What are we doing? <laughs> What's next for me and you? Silence, boy. Uh, let's have a wander up here. Have we been up here? Yeah, I can't remember. I forget what I've done and what I haven't. Oh, well, we obviously have not. Oh, hello, storage. Yes, please. Oh. Well, t don't mind if I do. So, obviously, we can use all this for storage, which is great. Anti personnel modified side stuff. There's just a rare pistol sitting up in my. Chief, I'm going I'm to I'm need through that. Awesome. So we can use all these weapon racks. It'd be cool if we have like any legendary gear to put in them. Sick, dude. That's sick. Right, and down we go. You see Discovery. It's obviously a ship flying around us. Um. Oh, so that, okay. So that's how we... That's the door to the stairs and that's the airlock there. It's all making sense now. It's all starting to add up. You? you have, my friend, many, many times. Um, right, inventory. Misc. Biosensor. We need to deliver that somewhere, don't we? Oh! Oh, no! 
Did we ever finish that quest on New Atlantis? I don't know. Um. Okay, right. Pilot seat. Let's get off of this star yard. And we'll go uh, where we are. Undock. See you, Deimos. That ship will carry the memory of your visit forever. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. He's so complimentary, isn't he? Uh, Mars. Da 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 da. Sidonia. Set course and trap. Oh, and there it goes. There it goes. No worries, uh, we've got nothing, and even if we did, we do have some... And we're done. That was cool. We do have some, um... What, what's it called? Um... I'm lost. We have <laughs> secure storage. So we can, um, you know, hide our contraband, which is good. That was so difficult to say, and I don't know why. Uh, Sidonia! Let's go and see how Trevor's gonna guarantee us this job. I bet I've spent more time exploring the Martian surface than roaming around Sedona. Well, we'll definitely be exploring Mars at some point. We're going to explore as many planets as we can. Poor quality air, sandstorm. Well, let's get inside. But let's not stick around and find out how bad it's going to be. Welcome to Sedonia, humanity's stepping stone to the stars. My buddy um, is there, right, is there more shops? Jane's Goods. That's on lower level 2. UC Exchange. Lower level 1.2. Well. That's residential. Let's see if our, ma our man has restocked his inventory. Cool. That's what we do here. Good. You have not. That's see fine. Around. See you, Chief. Do your part to keep Enhance. I give any oh, I think this is where you change your appearance. Somewhere more. We don't want to do that, but it's good to know what we can do it there. Reliant Medical. You see exchange. Hey, you buy from me. Hello, Dennis. The same discount I give to locals. Okay. Hello, welcome <laughs> to the Sedonia UC Exchange. Lovely. Best goods, all courtesy of the United Colonies, straight to all, all right. the wonderful UC soldiers, workers, and other citizens. So you sell to everyone, good to know. This, a little of that, and maybe a little of some other things you wouldn't expect to find at the UC shop, hmm? Okay. But that's because I try to provide for everyone here. So, please, browse my stock and let me know what I can get for you, friendo. Okay, Dennis, let's see. Let's see what you have in stock. Take a look. Thank you. But more importantly, what can I give to you? No. Bye. Uh, first of all, do you have any digipicks? You do. I think armor we're good for for now, since we found our legendary stuff. Ammo, though. Ten grand for some ammo. Eleven grand. Seven, eight grand. <laughs> No, we'll we'll take what we can find. Hey, catch you on the flip side. I keep saying that, and I keep running out of ammo. So, weapons. We'll keep our pistols on the left. Our rifles at the top. Shotguns on the right. Uh, aid. Med packs. Do we have any med packs? Oh my god, we don't have any med packs. Well then, did you have any aid, friend? Just a reminder. Aid. Med pack. That's something I am willing to spend lots of money on. Safe out there. I will, thank you. Uh, you know, since we're buying med packs. Hello, Chief. Time. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Good. Aid. Med pack. That's all groovy, baby. All groovy. Um, Miss Digipix, yes. Great. Come back anytime. Get me out of there. 
Let's go and speak to our man Trevor and tell him we've applied for the job. That's so cool. Don't worry. No, I don't need to do that. You get that job. Lovely. Trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Okay. Uh, I filled out the executive assistant application. Okay. Now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. Thanks. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. Okay. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoo in. Um. How can I gain access to the HR computer? I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. Fantastic. Uh, it sounds easy That's enough, I'll do it. Believe me, this is going to help everyone. By okay. Way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which to you is clever. She gets talkative during happy hour <laughs> and loud. Okay. Surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. <laughs> anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. I'll believe you on that one, my friend. Uh, all right, so we need to wait for 5 p.m. And then delete the other applicants. Um, so, let's get ourselves up and all the way up there. Well, in that kit. Hello, all. Don't mind me. Uh, how do you wait? The question. Uh, everyone, how 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 do you wait? Someone help me. Do I have to be seated? Any traction? I'm <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm the boss now. <laughs> um, right. Wait. The local tap. Oh. Tell you what, I, I'm scared we'll wait too long. So what we'll do is we'll just actually wait. It's half, it's half an hour in game time. Busy at the moment. Lots of business operations to operate and all that. We'll come back to you. You sound shifty. Um. Okay. So once we all move, we'll get on there. Sorry, who do you think you are? Hello. Hello there. Do I know you? Um, no, but you said I seem distracted. <laughs> nah, I'm just striking up conversation. Ah, I see. Well, I'm Leona Hawks, <laughs> Demo Staryard's corporate liaison. Anyone who deals with our office likely deals with me at some point. I suppose I'll be seeing you around. Okay. What do you do here? I coordinate between Deimos Corporate and the other operations, such as the Star Yard itself, and the mining operations here on Sidonia. Cool. Deimos Star Yard's corporation is a complex entity, given that the different divisions have different goals and priorities. My job is to make sure those are all in alignment. It sounds thrilling, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Take care now. See ya. Right. Come on. Many people think psychology is only good for treating the Let's do it. Let's see how long we have to wait now. If it were nearly there, nearly there. So, how nice are my tattoos, by the way? I'm at safety drill soon. Okay. Uh, don't mind me. There we go. She's going for happy hour. Are you going for happy hour as well, Peter? It's amazing how smoothly our mining operations run with me in charge. I can't recall the last time we've had any major issues. Are you going for happy hour there, Tia? Any traction on getting the board to agree to opening up the HR headcount for me? Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'll bring it up again at the next meeting. But I doubt anything's going to happen. Of You're not saying... Oh, we go invisible as well, of course. We have Chameleon. Ah, bollocks. It's exhibiting worrisome behavior. All right, let's just pretend that they don't see us. 
Job applications. Delete. <laughs> Delete. 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 Sick. Feel free to let me know about it. No one's seen me. Uh, uh, ah. You're under arrest. What for? I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. What? You going to tell me what's going on? I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other right? than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. What about my ship? We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Okay. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. So I'm not just being arrested, you're taking me and my ship somewhere. Um, exciting, I'm ready. Smart decision. Stand by to be transferred. Listen, I only deleted some job applications. That's not a huge crime, I'm sure. Order it's just corporate control. espionage. We're ready to depart. Deep cover. Undergo the interrogation. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. What the heck? Listen, I know you want to interrogate me, but... Stop I, worrying and keep I just... Deleted some job applications. <laughs> Did you see like vigilance? The commander wants to have a little chat. Okay. The prisoner is ready, sir. This is weird. Sister. System of defense? Hello. Okay. Yeah, just let me pay my fine so I can get out of here. Not this time. This is the first time. So let me see what we're working with here. What's going on? <laughs> Seems you had a bit of a reckless past. Always fancied yourself as a wild one, eh? We can work with that. I also I've done things. Mind on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh. Look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crossing. Listen, I backed up the files on a USB. I can back and put it back in. Hmm. I bet my shoe size isn't in your records. Oh, you're absolutely right. Well, I'll have my people get right on that. Why do you know so much now about me, Commander? Charge of this operation for UC Sistef. Are you familiar with what we do? Not a clue, mate. Not a clue. <laughs> well, I know you kidnap people, like me. Actually, that's something new we're trying. I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our <laughs> horizons. UC Sistef is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem the Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Okay. I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. They tried to kill me at the start of my Let's Play I'm currently recording. <laughs> no. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson what? Fleet for years. Trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Does it does it mean me? Um This sounds personal. It doesn't matter how I feel. I'm simply doing what's best for the security of the United Colonies. Don't believe you. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistef, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Alright. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fleet. <laughs> hmm. 
If I work with Sis Death, what's in it for me? Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Or okay. You can throw all that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. Hmm. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice. Of you have a choice. It's just stacked in my face. <laughs> so, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? I'll do it. I'll do it. Fine. I'm in. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And Understood. Don't trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. God damn it. Follow the SysDef guard to the operations center. Chief. Well, we're going to save it right there. That was a completely unexpected end to the episode, folks. We're going to call it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. It lets me know. Everyone's appreciating what we do here. Stay tuned for more Starfield. I will see you again in the next one, guys. I have been Ezra Mac. Peace.